Hi everyone, it's Richard Wong here from New Zealand. So today we have the two Leica telephoto lenses for micro forward cameras. They are Leica 200mm f2.8 lens and the Leica 100-400mm f4 to f6.3 lens. So in the last few months, I have received a lot of email and messages asking me uh, what is the performance difference between the two lenses, which is the better lens, which lens should I buy, um, and uh, almost everyone asked me the question, which one is the sharper lens. So while I have used both lenses quite a bit and I already done an individual review on each of the lenses, I have actually never done any side-by-side -side testing uh, with the two lenses, so I couldn't really answer the question, you know, which one is the better or sharper lens. So today, I have got the two lenses. I also got the 1.4 teleconverter and the 2 times teleconverter for the Leica 200 f 2 lens, which can make the lens become a 280 and 400 mil lens. So I want to do some comparison between the two lenses and I will show you the result and you see which lens is the better lens for you. But before we go into the image quality, let's talk about the size and the weight of the lenses first. As you can see, um, if I put the two lenses side by side, they are pretty much identical in size. Um, there is not much difference. The build quality of the two lenses are all very good as you would expect with any lenses with the Leica badge on it. Even the tripod mount is actually identical with the two lenses. They are exactly the same tripod mount. In terms of the weight, on paper, the Leica 200 f2.8 lens is about 250 gram heavier than the 100 to 400 mil lens. But in real life, when I hold it on my hand, I cannot really tell the difference between the two lenses, even though I know that one is 250 gram or so heavier. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't really tell the difference, especially when I attach it to a camera like the G9, which I used to do this review on. I can't really tell that the Leica 200mm f2.8 is heavier than the other lens. In terms of the autofocus performance, both lenses autofocus speed are very, very fast, especially when you are shooting on a bright sunny day. Um, yeah, with the G9, they are pretty much lighting fast when you are um, pointing to object that is under bright sunlight. When you are shooting indoor, then you may notice the 200 f2.8 lens. The autofocus speed is a little bit faster and there is less chance that it would hunt a little bit before it can snap onto the focus compared to the 100 to 400 mil lens. I don't think the difference is big but it's something that you will probably notice when you are shooting under low light condition. In terms of flare resistance and chromatic aberration, both lenses perform really really well. Uh, even when I'm doing stupid things like I'm shooting directly into the sun on a, on a cloudless day, uh, the image from both lenses, there is very little lens flare and also you don't really see much color fringing at all. So yep, thumbs up, both lenses are very good. Let's move on to the thing that everyone is most interested in, which is the image sharpness. Originally, I was going to just shoot some uh, test chart indoor and um, then I can have a very well controlled environment and do the comparison between the two lenses. But then I think about it, um, the if I shoot a uh, test chart indoor, then I am only testing the close focus sharpness. Um, and most people that using the telephoto lenses are shooting object that is far away and is more than a, um, a couple of meter or 10 meter away. So if I shoot it indoor, this doesn't actually represent the um, sharpness that you will get when you are actually using it in real life. So I decided I want to shoot something much further away. So I chose a building that is about 15 meter away. And that is my subject for the image sharpness comparison test. So let's start at 400 mil, the longest setting. If you look at the center, I would say the Leica 200 f2.8 lens is slightly sharper than the Leica 100 to 400 mil lens. The difference is not really big, but if you zoom in at 100%, then you will definitely see that the 200 f2.8 lens is sharper than the 100 to 400 mil lens. 
if you look at the corners now that is a little bit interesting because both lenses are pretty much the same in terms of sharpness i may even say the 100 to 400 mm lens is marginally sharper than the 200 f tibonic lens oh remember at uh, 400 mm that means the 200 mm lens i have to attach the two times teleconverter to it but anyway the corner at 400 mm i think the difference between the two is so little that it probably wouldn't matter when you are shooting in real life. Next, let's move on to 300mm. So with the Leica 200F tubonic lens, that means I have to attach the one4 times teleconverter to it, which means I actually only get 280mm focal length, which is not quite 300mm focal length. But the difference is actually quite small, so I think it is okay to compare the 280mm photo uh, to the 300mm photo from the Leica 100-400mm lens. Okay, now let's look at the center sharpness first. The 200f 2.8 lens, even with the 1.4x teleconverter attached, is definitely the sharper lens between the two. Even the f4, the image from the 200f 2.8 lens is already very sharp. So if you stop down to f5.6 or f8, the improvement, there is a little improvement, but it's not that big because it was already pretty sharp um, at wide open already. Now look at the 100 to 400 mm lens at maximum aperture. The image is a little bit soft. It's not terrible at all. Definitely very usable. But if you put it side by side next to the image from the 200 f2.8 lens, then you would definitely notice it is not as sharp as the image from the 200 f2.8 lens. Now let's look at the corner sharpness at 300mm. The 200f 2.8 once again is the sharper lens and the difference is even bigger than the center sharpness. It is very sharp even at f4 while the 100-400mm lens at maximum aperture it is um, a little bit soft and you do have to stop down quite a bit um, probably to around f8 to get good sharpness. Now let's move to 200mm. That means with the 200f 2.8 lens, I don't have to attach any teleconverter to it at all. And I think we are starting to see a pattern here. The 200f 2.8 lens is definitely the sharper lens between the two lenses. Look at the center sharpness at f 2.8. It is already very, very sharp. Uh, that is very impressive because um, at wide open, the sharpness is already excellent. So when you stop down, the image sharpness will only improve a little bit because it was already very sharp at wide open. And if we look at the 100 to 400 mm lens, um, at maximum aperture, it is okay. But again, you put it next to the 200 mm f2.8, um, then you will see there is quite a bit of difference. And if we look at the corner sharpness, the difference is again much bigger. The 200f 2.8 lens at corner is also very sharp. That is very impressive. On the other hand, the 100 to 400mm lens uh, at maximum aperture f5.1 at the corner, it is a little bit soft and you do have to stop down to around f8 to get good image sharpness. Now, if there's one thing that the 100 to 400 mm lens would beat the 200f 2.8, it would be the image quality at 100 mm. Um, I'm not going to show you the image in this review. So if you're interested, then go to my website and you can see the 100 mm image sample there. So I think it's not really surprising that the Leica 200f 2.8 lens deliver better image quality at pretty much all the focal lengths from center to corner. But consider the fact that the Leica 100 to 400 mm lens is only half the price of the 200f 2.8 lens. The image quality from the Leica 100 to 400 mm lens is actually not bad at all. And also consider the fact that both lenses are pretty much the same size, while the 100 to 400 is a zoom lens, which make it um, a lot more versatile for most users. So I would say for most people, the Leica 100 to 400 mm lens is actually the better choice um, between the two lenses. But if you are someone who wants the best image quality, then the Leica 200f 2.8 lens is the lens you should go for. Because pretty much at any focal length, the um, Leica 200f 2.8 lens, you can shoot at wide open and you already get very good image quality, very good image sharpness from center to corner. 
and that means you can probably shoot at one to two stop faster than the Leica 100 to 400 mm lens and you still get similar image sharpness. That extra one to two stop speed uh, probably doesn't mean much when you are shooting under bright sunlight but if you are shooting indoor sports or if you have to shoot in the evening when there is not much light then that one to two stop uh, extra speed would mean a huge difference um, to your image quality and sometimes it will mean whether you can capture the image or not. So overall, I think for most people, they will be perfectly happy with the Leica 100 to 400 mm lens. But for people who want the best image quality or have to shoot under low light regularly, then you have to pay the extra price and go for the Leica 200 f 28 lens. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing my channel. And I will see you next time.